Hey, road trippers. We're here at Copper Break State Park in Texas, and I just wanted to share with you our experience shooting Comet Leonard and doing a little more astrophotography with the Geminids meteor shower. So we got in pretty late last night, about midnight, drove from the Dallas area. If you watched our last video where we shot in Oklahoma at Great Plains State Park, we drove about the same distance uh, this time to the south in West Texas, kind of about an hour and a half out of uh, Wichita Falls. There were a lot of wildfires in the area. So when we arrived here, we couldn't make a fire. Uh, so it was pretty cold out. Um, not as cold as this morning. It's actually 32 with a feels like of uh, 24. So we set up some shots with uh, astrophotography mode. Um, tried working on silhouettes this time. As you can see at Copper Breaks, there are interesting lean-tos, kind of like this triangle. Shot some images with the camper and also without the camper. You can see since it is a Bortal 2 sky here, it is a international dark sky park. Um, you do get a lot of stars in this place. There was an interesting kind of little light, long horizontal uh, cloud cover in the distance. So took some pictures and got some pretty interesting shots as well. It had a little bit of a pink glow in some of the images, as you can see. Kind of interesting to me. So we went to bed pretty late, sometime after 3.30. Slept for at least an hour and a half. And then we woke up and shot Leonard. The clouds were rolling in, so it kind of was tough to shoot the comet. Allison got one shot of Leonard, but it's right on the edge, falling off the frame. Uh, she was a little bit disappointed about that, but she still got it, so, you know. Grabbed a quick image of the sky so you can see what it looked like. It was a pretty morning, but it wasn't ideal for shooting the stars. But at least we got something. The next night we had a half moon. I wanted to shoot to see what it would look like with a moon in the image. Uh, kind of washes it out. I expected that, but this is an image with the moon. So <laughs> there you go. It does have some interesting flaring. One benefit of shooting with moonlight is if you have something in the foreground, it gets illuminated. So our camper looked really nice with the moon out, even though we couldn't see all the stars. If you watched our last video, I talked about how I wanted to try out some uh, time lapses stitched together. The Pixel does one second time lapses, so I tried that out, stitched about 13 of them together, and this is what I got. It's not too bad. I also pointed the camera towards the radiant point of where the Geminids would be. I got a couple of shots. Allison and I think that there are just a couple of comets there. The actual peak of the meteor shower will take place on the 13th and 14th. We're unfortunately here on the 12th, so we're not able to really get lots and lots of meteors, but I saw at least a few an hour in the sky. It should be much stronger, especially from this park. It's a Bortal 2, so it's a nice dark sky and it's supposed to be clear, so. If you're out here, you're gonna get some nice shots. Allison tried one last time, right at sunrise the second morning to try to get the meteor. And I'll insert an image if she did get one. Comet Leonard uh, proved to be kind of a tough one for us. All right, road trippers, I hope you enjoyed this video where we tried to chase Comet Leonard and we shot a little bit of the Geminid meteor shower and tested out Pixel 6 astrophotography. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.